guys how's going on my name is Luis and god bless every single one of you today is august 30th 2023 and welcome to the grand screen news channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates some very important information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here fema to blast all smartphones tvs radios with mass alert test on october the 4th 2023 this here is going to be my second video. Now, the reason why I'm making another video, uh, because I do believe there's a lot more information that people need to know about October the 4th and what's to come in the near future. You guys saw what happened in Hawaii, the big island and the big island event. Excuse me. You guys already know there was a wildfire there and my condolences and prayers goes to the families and friends. I lost a loved ones. August the 2nd, Hawaii had one of these test alerts. And I do believe it's like smartphones, TV, radios, even sirens. August the 2nd, you know, they test all that. Days later, I think it was August the 7th or the 8th, there was a big wildfire. No one received notification. No sirens, no TV, radio broadcast, nothing. And I do believe in foreshadowing. I do believe that, that there will be signs that people need to be prepared because there's a possibility on the 4th, even though they're saying they're going to test it, there's a possibility it might be deactivation and something big could come to the sleeping giant, possibly a nuke or anything, Yellowstone, earthquake, whatever. So it's very important that people be prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally. I know a lot of people get paranoid about these type of stuff. Don't be. Don't be paranoid. Don't turn off your phone. It doesn't matter if your phone is on and off. Uh, again, it doesn't matter. At the very end, what matter is that you are prepped spiritually with Jesus Christ. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 US Highway 19, number two. Holiday Florida 34691. All right. The state of Florida is back. And you guys already know we got hit by Hurricane Idalia. And in my area, it was not it was not that big, to be honest. Look, look I'm being honest, it was not that big. Other location, yes, they seen a lot of flood. But in Pasco County, uh, it, it was strong winds and rain, but it wasn't a catastrophe. It was not a catastrophic. Now, I've seen videos circulating on social media. Tornadoes flipped a car in the air. I mean, that was insane. And uh, I've seen all the water just coming in in certain uh, counties in Tallahassee. So, we again, we're sending prayers to many people out there in the state of Florida, the Panhandle. we also sending prayers to the people out there in Georgia. I know you guys seen that storm. And I think it's 65 miles per hour and it's moving 21 mile per, miles per hour and it's heading towards the Atlantic Ocean. So just be prepared. These storms will come back. They always do every year. Now, this one, guys, I do believe in foreshadowing what happened in Hawaii is going to happen in the sleeping giant. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Dimitri. Dimitri! You know, that man that had the vision and he shared his vision, his dream uh, about the sleeping giant being nuked. No one received no notification. No one uh, knew that there were submarines, the bear, the Russian submarines in the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. The sleeping giant citizens were just living their life. And Dimitri said that he saw two submarines launching nukes towards the sleeping giant and nobody knew what hit them so i do believe in foreshadowing i do believe that there's a possibility one day we will see a surprise and no notification sent out 
on October the 4th, we have the greatest agency. I'm kidding, guys. FEM, you know what, will push mass alert across the nation on every television, smartphone, and radio with a notice that the sleeping giant today said would read. <clears throat> This is a nationwide test of the emergency alert system issued by the FEMA covering the United States from 1420 to 1450 hours Eastern time. This is only a test. No action is required by the public. So you have this agency last test occurred in 2021 during the world event. At the time, the emergency agency said, uh, excuse me, sent test alerts nationwide, uh, causing all phones, television, and radios to blast an annoying sound. Once again, here's what to expect via a smartphone next month. So it's coming. Now, a lot of people are saying, some on social media said that the upcoming test will sound like the purge. Guys, I don't know what sound is going to come. I hope ain't that Freddy Krueger uh, sound, you know, or 28 Weeks Later soundtrack. You guys seen the movie 28 Weeks Later? I recommend not to watch it. Uh, again, that was my BC time, but uh, those soundtrack are brutal. So some on social media said the upcoming test will sound like the purge. So USA Today said that the nationwide test comes in the wake of the horrific fires on the island on August the 8th. I must remind you, August the 2nd, once again, they test their alert system. August the 8th, no one received notification. All right, so when the warning sirens that might have alerted people to the danger weren't Deployed as a reminder of what system are in place should they be needed. Yeah, but they tested August the second. Let me click on this really quick. Mm -mm -mm. And what's going on here? Give me a second, guys. What's happening on October the 4th? Cell phone users warn nationwide tests will sound like the purge. Um, let's see what's going on with this one. Let me just remove. I can't remove it. They won't let me. Um, so to tame the fire before it sparked, you have a TikToker, Noah, issued a warning to all cell phone users about an upcoming nationwide test by FEMA. Um, the test will take place at 2.20 p.m. Eastern time. The Guys, it's always 2.20 p.m. and it's always on October the 4th. Um, so, and it's always on a Wednesday too. Uh, I noticed that. So the, uh, it says though noises from your electronic device may be loud for a duration of 30 minutes. Now this agency will be assessing the nationwide emergency alert system as well as wireless emergency alerts. Now people keep saying, you know, is it good to turn off your phone? Is it good to keep it on? Should I put my phone in the microwave? I, I, again, don't add the numbers and stuff, but uh, look, here's the thing. Either way, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. They already know where you at. They could track you. I mean, they know which hospital you was born. They know your social security. They know everything about you, all right? They know uh, how much you tied. They know uh, literally everything about you. So, um... For you to avoid all this, it just, it's a waste. It's a waste. Might as well not get a phone. Might as well don't get a phone. Just don't get a phone because you get a phone, you turn it on. This is chipping here, automatically knows your, again, it's just recording your face, it's recording your voice, it knows your color of the eyes. I mean, 
Might as well not get a phone. Might as well just live off the grid. Sources have revealed that a voice may also be heard on your device. Man, hold on. I don't want to hear no voices. Um. So a voice may be heard from your device saying something along the lines of this is a na nationwide test of the emergency alert system issued by to apologize it was lagging there issued by the federal emergency blah 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 covering the sleeping giant from 1420 to 1450. this is only a test no action is required by the public the test itself is to ensure that in case of a natural disaster or national disaster and uh, every electronic device will be notified within a 10 minute period well what happened to those in the island what happened to their notifications give me a second here the concept originated in 1951 we're gonna skip all that skip though you have noah urge his tiktok viewers to not freak out. What's the one thing people do when they are told to not freak out? That's right. Freak out. Oh my guys. Everybody's taking this thing like this is not the first time. This this here is not the first time. I mean, we get emergency alert system uh, you know, again, the TV for many years. You know, I've been watching, you know, my Power Rangers and my Tidy Whities. And you know, when I was like nine or eight or nine years old drinking chocolate milk, and all of a sudden I see that emergency broadcast. I mean, I mean, it's been going on for many years, so I wouldn't freak out because it is. Oh, so I guess that's him right there. While well, another asks the rightful question, okay, but what if my phone is fully turned off? Some TikTokers even commented on the fact that they will be in school during the time of the nationwide test, causing one person to react saying, what if I'm in class, bro? Here's the thing, guys. Let it be. Let it be. You know, uh, the first time back in 2018, I believe, man, I put my phone in the microwave. I mean, the microwave was off. I put my phone in there. You get something with the microwave and the phone device. Uh, you put your phone in the microwave, you take it out, you're gonna see some kind of message. I, I don't remember how to do it. I guess you turn off the phone and then you turn it back on and there's some kind of message, error, reading something uh, because of the microwave. Ah, oh, that's what it is. I seen that movie, uh, Edward Snowden. Uh, so, they listen to your stuff. So you take the phone, put it in the microwave, they can't hear you no more. <laughs> so, uh, because the microwave will block everything. All right, so I just wanted to share this here, guys. I just wanted to give you more updates of this. And like I said, I do, I do believe in a foreshadowing uh, when it comes to, again, what took place in Hawaii. And it's very sad that the situation that took place on August the 8th and, uh, you know, it just seems like the rest of the story, gone, gone. We ain't going to find out a lot about how many were out, taken out. We're not going to find that out. So uh, I do believe in a foreshadowing, uh, just like what happened in Hawaii. There's a possibility it might happen here. So, again, I just wanted to bring this story up really quick. Uh, once again, this is uh, this this here got to be my second video. But uh, it's very important to share it because a lot of people are panicking. A lot of people are talking about October the 4th. And here's the thing. Live your life. God commanded everyone, live your life cheerful. Live your life cheerful, righteous, and believe in Christ. Again, the Son of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his one, he gave his one and only begotten Son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Live your life. I mean, these people, you know, they, they, they want to follow you. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. 
Uh, just, you know, God said that he would protect you against the evil ones. God said, and, you know, the Bible does give, uh, you know, very important uh, information about God protecting his people. Uh, God is the same God yesterday and today and tomorrow. God will be with his people. Psalm chapter 93 is very important for people to read. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video October the 4th. They're going to sound every, you know, all that broadcast 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time on a Wednesday. So don't panic. Again, don't panic. It's just uh, one of these alerts. And if people panic, then get rid of the phone. I mean, that's all I got to say. You know, if you panic, get rid of the phone and, you know, you don't have to worry about nothing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.